hey hey what is going on out there guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a fine and excellent day out there today in uh, this video we are going to try to talk about a brand new feature that is now available inside of xcode 10 xcode 10 and uh, this feature is a little bit buggy but it allows us to select images inside of our source code using a new bit of syntax called image literal so let me show you what this looks like first inside of the simulator here. So here is our brand new slide out menu course that allows us to slide out showing us four items right here. So you see home, uh, let's see a list and then bookmarks and moments down at the bottom right. And uh, this row right here is comprised of two items. We have the UI image view and then the label on the right side. Now the UI image view right here contains an image that is supposed to be this guy over here, 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 and here. So all four of these rows are represented by these structs called menu items. And uh, let me show you how to actually introduce a fifth item over here and how we can pull out a new image literal for this new object. So first I'm going to say new line and let's pop in a menu item, use the automatic struct constructor. So we have icon and title and let's pop in this guy as let's say fifth item and uh, for the image right here right back in the days in xcode 9 we used to be able to just type in our assets from the catalog over here so i have this asset called girl profile and uh, let me go back and you used to be able to just type in girl and profile and just pop in the image right over here using the autocomplete but now inside of xcode 10 we are not able to do that anymore and the new way of doing this is to use this syntax called image literal so let me just type in image literal get this to pop out in the autocomplete and select this guy just like so and uh, one thing that you have to do now is to double click on that or maybe triple click and you'll get this little pop-up to allow you to select the correct image asset that you have inside of your catalog right over here Okay, so that's kind of how it works. And uh, if I show you exactly what happens when I double click, you'll see that the image now shows up in your source code. You can uh, run your application again, and we'll get that fifth item to show up inside of our menu. I just want to show you what that looks like. Let me swipe open and we'll have that fifth item. And so going back to our code right now, you'll see that when I run the application, some of the images are now showing up so this feature is extremely buggy and uh, make sure that you are able to run your application and to have these icons show up from time to time uh, otherwise it's you know kind of broken uh, one major bug with the image literal right now is what happens when you have only one image asset so let me show you an example of this by removing all of these images right now so let me just wipe those up and i'll go back to the menu controller containing my five items let me try to build and uh, it'll tell me that some of the icons are missing, but uh, I think I can still run. So I'm going to run now and swipe open like that. And you see that the application actually crashes on these menu items here. So let me remove all five of these items and introduce one single item right now. So menu item, let's use the icon and image literal like that. And this guy will just say home. Now for this right here, you can double click on here and you can try to select the single asset that you have inside of your catalog, which is this ribbon guy. So going back to our assets, you see our ribbon here and uh, you can try to double click and then select on this. But you notice every time I double click on that right there, right? It doesn't exactly work. So try to double click. Uh, nothing is really happening. If I try to hit enter or space, uh, nothing actually completes here. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to include at least two different assets inside of your catalog. So let me just undo everything and remove those icons down below. And now we have girl profile and bookmarks. So that means that we have more than one, right? And then going back to our menu item here, you can double click now and it'll allow you to select either of these images by double clicking that or clicking on that. And you'll see that the ribbon shows up there and also the nice lady in the hat is also showing up. Now, I don't know exactly what the problem is right now with the single asset, but uh, hopefully someone has filed this ticket and hopefully it's on the radar for the Swift team that is at Apple right now. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.